Hello, welcome back to my channel and we are going to continue with I got it. Okay. We're going to continue with Fallout New Vegas. Where the fuck am I going? I got to say something where is the map? Oh. Can I fast travel yet? Yeah, I can fast travel. But no, 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 we're not gonna pass here. We're gonna walk. This is not walking. This, this is so quiet, man. So quiet. I can't, I can't, I can't, I cannot. So quiet. That's the salon, saloon. The thing is about this place is creepy as hell. Hello? I'm done being nice. What do you want? Wait, uh, did I hear Ringo? What's been going in the rest of Ruiz land? Same old shit that's been going on for years. The NCR and Legion are still fighting over Hoover Dam for some reason. Who is NCR? What do you know about the Legion? I've run with some tough gangs, but I gotta admit, they all got nothing on the Legion. I hear they stick you up on poles and it takes a while to die. I ain't saying I'm afraid of them or nothing. But I'll be staying out of their way. Oh. Okay, so you're afraid of them. Tell me about the NCR. New California Republic. Ah. Nothing new about it. Just a bunch of people with money and power pushing everyone else around. They've got troops all over the Mojave. But it's a big desert. So it's pretty easy to avoid them if you want. Do you, need, do you know anything about the Hoover Dam? Never been there since the NCR's got troops all over it. Must be pretty important. Wait, you say about What was this you say about Ringo? He's some traitor who decided he'd rather shoot than pay the toll for being in our territory. He's hiding somewhere in town. Would serve these idiots right if me and my guys shot the place up after we got payback on Ringo. This area is your territory? It is now. Me and the rest of the guys busted out of the NCR prison east of here and took over. Now we're calling the shots. <laughs> what were you in prison for? None of your damn business. <laughs> you ought to know better than to ask a man that kind of question. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Speech 20. Mm. I just need to know if I should watch my step around you, man. Rob some people. Succeed. some things. Killed a few guys. Ah, uh, killed a few guys. Hey, man. Well, uh, what say I help you take over this town? Let me get out of town before we talk. Too many unfriendly ears around. Okay then, uh, goodbye. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, what the fuck? Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Yes. Uh, thank you, Level Up. I will hit your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged in the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this trader, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way. Even if Cobb is scum, he can bluster and threaten all he wants. Well, I kill cop for you. How about that? What are you gonna do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. 
The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was yeah. a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. Yep. That's what we're dealing with now. Never mind, we want to talk about something else. Alright. Okay then. Uh, what happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Thank Ringo would also make the power Thank gangers that, mad. Man. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Uh, so I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the powder gang, is eh? Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Okay, I, I know this guy. Oh, who was that man you were arguing? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. You know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Uh, this is savage. I don't care about your radio. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Where is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. So, so where would they head? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Why would you look at your broken sure. radio? The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. The New Vegas. Do you know the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. You call him a thing. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. What does he actually do around here, then? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. You're a I don't savage. know why it took an interest in you, but You're a savage, I'd be careful. Trudy. It's never helped anyone before. Okay, never mind, let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Uh, okay, any interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. You, you keep talking about the dam. Where's the dam? Tell me about the NCR. I didn't get the New the... California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Okay. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Okay then. Uh, yeah, this is what I wonder. Why do you think the NCR and the Legion both want the dam? I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. Oh shit. The Legion are a bunch of savages though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Okay then. Uh, well, I gotta see what. Show me what you have. To I'm say. sure I've got something you like. Brahmin steak. I can cook Brahmin steak and it'd be easy. Purified water. Do you got any steam packs anywhere? No? Steam pack? Steam pack? You got food. You only got food. Why? It's okay then. Uh, goodbye. Beep. Oh, level 2. I got 14 skill points. I gotta increase this because I want to repair the radio.
Okay. This is a perk. So I gotta choose a perk. Uh, what the fuck is this image? Intense training. Rapid reload. Mojave Wasteland. Why are you staring at the barrels, man? Howdy. Howdy. Where in the fuck are you? Okay, you're close. Are you here? That's close enough. Son of a bitch, I'm on Who top of you? the counter. What do you want with me? I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of caravan? You know how to play? No. I don't care about the caravan. Uh, did you know there's a man named J Joe Cobb looking for you? Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I can help you with that part. What are you going to do about the powder gangers? I'm going to lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. Maybe I can help. We just end up sharing the same group. We want to pick the other one. Okay, shit. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board. You don't think I can end myself in a fight? I was thinking of myself, actually. Who's gonna watch my back while I'm watching yours? Son of a bitch. Okay, I'll ask around and see who I can round up. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been friendlier than most around here. Sorry about the count, Tudo. So what's going on? Did Sunny agree to help us? I haven't talked to her yet. Oh. Well, I don't want to make a move until she's with us. Relax, relax. I gotta take this thing. Okay. It's night time. Look at that half moon. Sorry about the fence though. Are you signing hey. smiles? No, you truly. Okay, Sunny Smiles is in here. Hey, Cyan, how are you doing? Good doggy, where is the. Where is Sunny Smiles? Sunny! No, you're not there. Sun what the fuck? Sunny Sunny smile I got a proposition for you Where is Sunny Smile? Uh, this is the fast I can walk. Or oh, uh, in this game, it's considered as run. Hello. Hello, Trudy. How are you doing? Could you get away for a second? Okay. I can't find Sunny Smile, Cheyenne. How are you doing? Fuck you, Sunny Smile, man. 
feeling thirsty? I can take care of that. No, 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 no. Okay, I, I, goodbye. I thought I was gonna search for a you know, sunny smile. Oh, here is a hey smile. There. Oh, holy shit. Okay, sorry. Uh, Hi there. Sticking around Good Springs for a while longer? Yeah, um, I'm going to help Ringo and the Powder Gang because I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Well, that was easy. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could borrow. Talk to them as well. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could cough up some extra stim packs, that'd be great. Okay, so uh, I got a lot of things to do, and then you're just gonna sleep here. I'm a little short on cap. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, there's always the schoolhouse. Most of what's in there is junk, but there's this old safe that even Easy Pete wasn't able to crack with dynamite. If you want to take a shot at it, take these. Actually, I already cracked that oh. safe. <laughs> well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you anyway. It'll be more useful to you than me. Okay. Uh, goodbye then. I'll just I'll be waiting. go do what I should do. So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is right. Okay, uh, you should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. But, lots of fun, man. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has what we need in stock. Okay, um, goodbye then. Be careful out there. Okay, could, could you? Thank you. Okay, first talk to Doc and... Hey there. Hey. Is it this house? No, you're not it. Okay, it's in this house. Oh, oh. Doc Mitchell? Hello? Doc, Doc from the vault. Are you here, Doc? Okay, you're over here. Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come see me again so soon. What can I do for you? Uh, I need medical supplies. Sure. Okay, cough up some hold holy, holy shit, this is very expensive. And I thought I would bought the T jumpsuit. Oh no. The time is going to be attacked by bandits. Anything you can you know you can do to help? Seems like wherever I go it's always the same. Folks just never leave each other alone. Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are scarce, but I'll give you what I can spare. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. You take care now. Yeah, I do that. This is where he's hiding. I need to 
do the optional thing first you know you can just proceed with the mission and go on ahead full guns blazing no it's gonna be with copyright okay um hello hello you must be the one doc mitchell was patching up when yeah. I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. No, actually, uh, I, I, I need supplies to fight the powder gangs. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the powder gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Right. Just keep me out of it. Is there anything else? Man, you should you should really uh come on. This again? Like I said, I'm against taking on the powder gangers. My supplies aren't cheap, you know. You're just gonna try the thumbs I state, dude. Come on. Look, you're bringing this on yourselves. There's no way I'm getting involved. But hey, I'm sure you can buy what you need. You want do. You want shitty motherfucker. That is the ten millimeter. So there's no 10 millimeter uh, ammo. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna cough up money for you, man. Okay. That's a bust. Can we run? Is it this one? Yeah, it's this house. Hello? Is it Pete? Holy shit. Hey! Hey! Howdy. Howdy. Up. Uh, uh, who's your guard? I hear you got uh, dynamite. It will help us beat the powder gangs. Too dangerous. Gonna kill all yourselves if I let you touch it. Better to leave it buried. Safer that way. Never mind. Yup. Goodbye, yep. man. Son of a bitch. Two pussies. I need to change my appearance though I like this one, I'm good. Yep Oi, oi, get up. So what's going on? Did Sonny agree to help us? Sonny's with us. Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless you think there's something else you can do. Let's do this. All right, I'm ready. 
I hope. Oh, what oh, the fuck? Okay, howdy. Time to look alive. The powder gangers are here to play. Okay, how many are they? At least six. Joe Cobb included. They look pretty mean. Let's go. I'll be set up near the store. Let's hope that the gang doesn't manage to make it that far. Is that powder gangers? No, that's not it. Oh, fucking shit. What a condition, what the fuck? I gotta use the gun. You gain karma. Come on, Joe Cop. They didn't hit him. Put passion on the community, maybe. Okay. Gotta take this and this. Oh boy, this the. Okay, uh, in the first part of the gameplay, you, you just gotta loot everything. Yep. Oh. oh, oh. So where can I sleep? Gotta wait until morning. This is a long night. Shit. I can't sleep on the couch. Just gotta do stuff, do quest then. Okay, data, uh, quest. Damn. They're far away. They're here. He's got a fast travel. And this game night time is so long, I don't know why. Okay, so I do not have the su survival skill to cook this thing up yet. That, 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 that weird, weird ass tree, weird ass plant. Oh, yeah, cool. Okay, that's four of them. Gotta kill this first.
Okay, there's two geckos over there. There's three of them. Shit! Oh! Die, motherfucker! Okay, one dead. I wasted a lot of ammo on that one. Gotta change it. Brought machete. Machete. Okay, one. One more to go. Done. There's another one. It's running away. This place is massive but empty. Only there's a young gecko over there. Los Angeles, Nipton. Red Roach. What the fuck is this place? Prim. How am I going to get inside? Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Prim is off limits. It's your ass. Don't say you weren't warned. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't do the dialogue over there. Just quick thinking and pick the lines. So I can't climb. I can't climb that. So this is the RNCR part. The New California something. What the fuck? The good thing is I got steam pack. Steam pack. 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 I don't know. Lucky casino. What in the fuck? Single shotgun. This is the worst rifle. This game. Oh god damn it. Okay then. I know, I know, I know. Oh, baseball bat. Okay. Okay, uh in Fallout you have capacity, you have the capacity to you know uh, bring stuff with you. And right now, I'm bringing 
two of the Barmy rifles. So I'm gonna drop one of these. But how am I gonna drop? Okay, that that's how. Okay. Uh, where's the steam park? There it is. Ah, oh, that is great. I'm gonna drop these. Yep, that's how you do it. Vicky and Vance. I don't know what it was brought you to Prim, youngster, but you might want to rethink your plans. The town's gone to hell. Who are you? Johnson Nash is my name. Husband to Ruby Nash. I, I don't need to know that. Lived okay. in Prim going on eight years now, thick and thin. I'm a trader primarily, for what it's worth with things like they are. I also run the local Mojave Express outpost. I'm a courier with the Mojave Express. Well, I don't got any work right now, sorry to say. What the fuck? No, no, no. I lost a package because I was too supposed to deliver. I'll tell you whatever I can. You have a delivery order you can show me? What? What can you tell me about this job? Oh, then? So you're talking about one of them packages. That job had strange written all over it, but we couldn't turn down the caps. What was so strange about it? That cowboy robot had us hire six couriers. Each was carrying something a little different. A pair of dice, chess piece, that kind of stuff. Last word I have from the office, it looked like payment had been received for the other five jobs. Guess it was just your chip that didn't make it. First deadbeat we hired to do the job canceled. Hope a storm from the divide skins him alive. Well, that's where you came in. He canceled? Yeah, I got this look when he saw you next down on the courier list. His expression turned right around. Asked me if your name was for real. I said, sure as lack of rain, you were still kicking. Then he turned down the job, just like that. I asked if he was sure it was good money. No, let courier six carry the package. That's what he said. Like the Mojave sort you out or something. Then he just up and walked out. Do you know who he was? Yeah? Where you went? No idea. Sounds like you two had a history for him to act like that. And turn down the money too. Hope he didn't see any trouble in that package of yours. Maybe he thought your name was bad luck. Not for me to say. Cowboy robot. You mean the one over there? Nope. Different fella. Bigger. Had himself a face on a screen, and he talked more like you or me. Some men stole my package. A man in checkered suit, you know, and some thugs to the best this way. Well, now that you mentioned it, a few nights back, one of the townies was out scavenging for supplies. He said he saw a fellow with a daisy suit come through with some of them great con misfits. They was talking about a chip. One of those men shot me. I need to know the best way to get to them. Well, for that, your best bet is going to be talking to Deputy Big. Since they came to town, he was keeping a good bit of notes on them. And he was slinking around Bison Steve when your pretty boy friend came through. He may have heard where they were going. I'd like to, I'd like to ask you about something else. I eh? guess I don't yeah. have anywhere better to be. Yeah, you're going to be here. Otherwise, where can I get the information on the man that shot me? A Beagle had some notes he was taking while he was eavesdropping around the Potter gangsters. He'll be your best source of information on that subject. I want to ask some more about the delivery I was supposed to make. Sure, I'll tell you what I know. But... Okay, that, 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 that's it. You tell me everything, okay? I'd like to ask I some guess I don't have anywhere things. better to be. Okay, what can I do to help Prim? This place. Right now, Beagle is the closest Prim's got to any organized law. 
but he's still stuck up in Bison Steve. First thing I'd say is get his sorry butt out of there. Sorry, but okay. Uh, I have some questions about Prim. Well, I'll answer what I can. <laughs> yes. Do you know where I can the courier office? Sure do. I run the courier office out of my shop. Leastways I did before things went to hell around here. I have some more questions about Prim. Ask away. What's the Bison Steve? It's an old hotel and casino here in town. Old Laura used to rent out rooms there, but she took off months ago. Across the way from the Vicky and Vance, the other old casino. Can't miss it. I say something else. I guess I don't have anywhere better to be. Why do you keep calling them gangsters? I, th I thought they were called powder gangers. Gangers, gangsters, all sounds like trouble to me. Yeah, that's true. What's a what's that Vicky and Vance this place? That's where we are. I know. This here little casino brought some cash and bodies into the town before them powder gangsters came in. Now they can't rush us without eating a good bit of hot lead, but we are in a kind of box canyon. Guess this is a fitting place for that as any. I reckon that if they thought hard enough about it, they'd realize they got more bodies than we have bullets. But for now, we're safe enough in here. Okay, then we're safe. Goodbye. Don't go getting yourself shot. Well, thank you, but the advice. Hey there. I'd rather be left alone in my misery. Howdy, partner. Welcome to the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yep. Who the fuck are Prim you? Slim at your service. Authentic cowpoke and official spoke spot at the Vicky and Vance Casino and Museum. Yeehaw! This is what they were. Okay, this is what they were worrying about. But the robots and the AI and the Android, I don't know. Who were Vicky and Vance? Your fan, partner. Hiding under a rock? No. Vicky and Vance were this nation's fourth or maybe fifth most infamous celebrity outlaw couple ever. That's who they was. Ah. Prim Slim here can tell you the whole story, if you can spare a minute to hear the tale. Well, tell me the whole story about Vicky and Vance. Yahoo! I ain't had a chance to tell that tale in a mess of years. First things first, any boss you've heard about Vicky and Vance being copycats ain't nothing but ill-tempered slander. Fact is, they begun their crime spree two days before Bonnie and Clyde robbed their first bank. So who was copying who? <laughs> now true, Vicky and Vance didn't exactly cut a wide swath of murder and bank robbery across the central U.S. like Bonnie and Clyde did. It was more like a narrow swath of shoplifting, check cashing fraud, and gas pump drive-offs. But crime is crime. They drove reckless too. Having lived by the gun, well, Vance owned one anyway. It was only fitting that the duo of desperados would die by the gun. Perhaps it was fate itself that accidentally drove them into a crossfire between police and a gang of bank robbers in Plano, Texas. Or maybe they just didn't notice until it was too late. It's been said that Vicky would have tried to cash a bad check in that bank had she lived. We'll never know for sure. All we know is that the crossfire tore the car and both occupants to pieces, and the police issued an official apology. You can put your well, eyes this is before the they fall out, right? Over yonder, and there's this Vance's machine gun the, in the case the, next the, to it. The explosion. So this is before the explosion. Okay. Um, goodbye then. Happy trails, partner. Okay. Howdy. Hi, Ruby Nash. Hello there. What brings you to Prim? Who the fuck are you? I'm Ruby Nash. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Yep. My husband and I are Prim long timers. He fancies himself a trader, and I know my way around the kitchen. What do you cook? My specialty is a rad scorpion venom casserole. It's more appetizing than it sounds. Some venom. The venom has a sharp, smoky flavor. And it numbs your mouth so fierce you'll forget you ever had a tongue. It's perfectly Just like safe. like you right now. Long as you don't have sores in your mouth for the venom to find your blood. Cause that'll kill you dead. Oh, okay then. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, I like some of that red scorpion venom casserole. Does sound good, don't it? How many red scorpion glands you got? 
I, I don't have any. Guess you'll be needing to find some, huh? Come back when you do. Well, that, that, that's it. Goodbye then. See you. Oh, synchronized sitting. Rather be left alone to my misery, if you don't mind. Okay. You come to the wrong place, traveler. Prim's dying. If you've got any sense, you'll be moving on. No Coca Cola. The bank. The bank still works. There's nobody in it. Hey, youngster. Still hanging about? Dude, Prim, I, can't, huh? I can't see your face. I uh, don't time for me to go. Later. Rather be left alone to my misery, if you don't mind. Okay, you're saying the same thing that she said, okay. Oh, it's morning. It's a whole day. Where's the general store? gonna do this mission my kind of time because it's it I kept it by powder gangers so it's, it must have shooting in it oh come on um, it's the bad guys okay sorry ah uh, weapons I gotta go with the revolver, no single shotgun. How about that, bitch? Huh? Can you do that again? Shit. I thought you were reloading. NCR dollars. Water caps. Water caps is the currency in this game. Gotta remind you of that again. I gotta save. Wait, I gotta s I should see the quick save F5. Aha! Oh. You like that? No! Come on! Oh, it's such a fast reload. Three of them. One, two, three. I can take those guys. One by one. Okay. Now I can shoot ahead. It's not dead yet. What the fuck? Team Park. Like that? Dude, son of a bitch. Stop moving. Come on. Son of a ass that, that hurt a lot. No, oh, that's why this guy had armor. Um, 
Oh, that's how he has a gun. Where is the super steam park? Also, this game has super steam park. Phew. Uh, gotta use this again. Weapons. Single shotgun. Sturdy caravan shotgun. Yep. Thank you for the uh, gun uh, ammo incinerator. This is badass, but this tough. I'm gonna give you something that I don't need, like this one. Lightweight metal. No, I don't need it. I'm gonna give you that. I'm gonna give you this. Thank you for that. Damn it. Gotta change weapon. Like that? What is it? Oh, instant death. Bought a cap, ammo. So I can use this bed to sleep. Yep, full on health. Thank you. Oh, you're here. Okay. I don't suppose you came here to rescue me. I'd cross my fingers, but my hands are numb. I gotta get going. You must be Deputy Beagle. Why, yes, I am. It's a pleasure to meet you. Yep. I'm in a bit of a predicament here. I'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free. Uh, <laughs> I'll set you free, but how'd you end up being a hostage? I must say it's been the low point of my career in law enforcement. The powder gangers stole into town at night and murdered my sister and her husband, the sheriff, in bed while I was sleeping in the office. I watched them for a bit, waiting for the right moment to pounce and arrest a lot of them, taking careful notes as I watched. To my dismay, they found me while I waited in the shadows and brought me here. I hear you may have information on some cons that came through here with a guy in a jacket suit. Indeed I do, good sir. And I would be thrilled to share that information with you as soon as I am released from captivity. I set you free now. Oh, that's just marvelous. I think I'll be making my way outside now. The air is a little close in here. No, no, no. If you try to run away instead of fighting at my side, killing myself. Oh, why, uh, of course. I'd never let you fight my kidnappers with my help, but without it. You lead the way. Fucking kill you, the pretty beagle. What the fuck did I just take? Come on. Son of a bitch. That, that, that's a nuclear cola machine. Sweet three. This is what I need. 